we've, uh, we've brought her downtown today. She's ready to go home, really. Um, but we just thought we'd bring her down and uh, come over there. We'll bring her up in this little plane here. Behind this truck. It's good to get them between, you know, things coming up both sides of them, obviously. And they can hear them and move away and everything like that. So we've got a motor car here, a taxi actually. Walk up, mate, go on. Trot, trot. We should come up there through the middle of these. That's quite nice. But she's got to understand, I mean, all she's blinkered up. We drive without blinkers as well. And we've done that downtown. So we did drive them you know, down here with blink, without blinkers, and then you put them back on. They're a little bit, I can't see, you know. I want to have a look over here. Come over, baby. Come over, darling. We're coming to this one now. There's my baby. Yes, you are. You little girl. Walk. Truck, mate. Truck. So, also, we are trialling a, a new bit today from a people in Europe that uh, manufacture bits. They've asked us to trial them. And uh, you'll know when we're trialling them. If you have a look now, look, you see that bright orange. <laughs> um, Anyway, yeah, this one is very, very interesting, this bit. Because this mare was, um, how would you describe it? She would wander a little bit, so she had to keep her driving straight. Some horses are like that. Most horses, and her included, will get better and better as time goes on. So they learn that they've got to be to one side of the road. You know, I like to keep them a metre off of the, of the curb, roughly speaking, you know, three foot off the curb. Because obviously you've got a cart behind them, and then that makes the wheel possibly like just a foot off the curb, you know, 18 inches. So, yeah, a metre off the curb would be about right. But I'm finding, you know, obviously we put the bit in as soon as we left. She didn't have any time in the stable um, with side rain or anything like that. Come up, baby. Um, but they, so far with this particular, quite a few different bits. It's um, very interesting what they've done. Um, and they've asked us because we're known all over the world, I suppose, or that's their words, not mine, as, as you know, people that drive and train horses without any metal in their mouths at all. Um, just shop rubber have a bit, so they've asked us to look at these and give an assessment, you know, a truthful assessment of what we think. Well, it would be, because I, what's more important to me is that the horse is happy and it will... I've already proved um, that... The rubber bits were, or, or should I say, the rubber bits work for us. So we drive all sorts. And there's literally, there might be over a thousand films on YouTube. Certainly there's two or three thousand in the archive films um, where we use rubber bits all the time. Uh, whether that's stallions and mares being driven together, uh, you know, runaways, problem horses, um, Hard mouthed horses you couldn't hold, and uh, we school them to the rubber bit. And they, uh, you know, they do it really, really well, you know. So we've proved the fact that you can drive horse anywhere in a soft rubber bit and, you know, safe and confident. Um, if they're safe and confident, they're all obviously happy, aren't they? So. But keeping a straight line with this horse, with this particular bit, is a lot easier. 
Now, I've got to try and understand why that is. I think the difference between the bits that we manufacture, or have tried to develop, I should say, it costs a great deal of money and a great deal of time and a, and a lot of effort to get it right. And it does cost a lot of money. It's not, you know, it's a lot of money um, to try and develop. But the reason I've tried to develop it is because I just think it's got to be nicer for all. So, I mean, they say that it's um, pressure and release. Well, I'm sorry, and I would... I don't want to argue with anybody or everybody's got their opinion, but it's pain and relief. Because you've got a curb chain around the back of Horsey's jaw and a straight, say, Liverpool bit, for instance, in his mouth. And you've got the cantilever of the cheek pieces enabling you by pole pressure and on the bars at the same time. Well, then that's, um, you know, you can't argue that that is pain you know that's what it is that's why pain and the horse will, will yield to that because it, it's hurting obviously and people that say no 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 it's pressure well we can argue the point all day but let me tell you this you ain't got a bit in your mouth have you so and seeing as that horse can't talk it's a bit harder to keep it simple so if I can drive them anywhere I drive them in this traffic, heavy traffic, you've seen on the films I do when we drive them all over. Come on, babe, over the top, that's it. I love that little roundabout there because you can go over that cobbles. There's about three different things and it's a little mound um, and you're allowed to do that um, if you need to. So that's good for us. Good for all sorts of road surfaces, stuff like that. So getting back to what I was saying, so this bit, for some reason, I've got to work out and understand we've got to, some meetings to do with the company, obviously. Um, so we'll be discussing the development, you know, taking it on further, developing it. Um, there's some minor little things I've noticed that I'd like to, you know, I think could be improved. But the, the, the wonderful thing is the company's very open to that, you know, they, they, they feel good about that. So, we're doing two jobs at once here, I suppose. We're trialling a bit, <laughs> a new bit. I'm bringing our baby girl down here. Um, come on. Come on. See there quite plainly the orange bit in his mouth. Come on, darling, up you go. And all this is is a straight bar snaffle, straight snaffle with loose rings. That's what we asked for. But well, we asked for several different bits to trial. The cheap pieces, um, come on, baby, we don't really bother much with. Right, up you go. We drive 90, not well, 90, 100%. Of, uh, of all she's just in a loose ring but the reason I hesitate there we've got Cloud you know our schoolmaster walk up baby got Cloud our schoolmaster in um, in a Liverpool cheek piece the reason we've got that walk up baby walk up he's uh, he had trouble <laughs> we have the rubber cheek guards on the bits and we put them on Cloud, who's a uh, half-bred Frisian, all coal black, and he lost all the pigment around his lips. Didn't hurt him at all. He wasn't in any pain or any sores or anything like that. He just took the pigment right out. So <laughs> he had great big pink patches. So we put a Liverpool in, so we've still got you know, a large ring that's, you know, fixed. It's like, when you've got the rubber on, you can't, or it's extremely difficult to pull a bit through all she's mouth. Because of the big rubber pad you've got, haven't you? Like a great big washer, if you like. Um, so your cheek piece, you know, just to protect the, the side of their mouth. So that's the only exception we have is, is uh, 
these clouds, you know, the, as I say, the black horse you see a lot, you know, the schoolmaster. And there are other exceptions where someone asks us, after we broke, trained the horse and done, would we put it in this bit or that bit? Which we do, but once they've got, once they've had a, a rubber bit in their mouth, and, and they'll, you know, do what you ask them to do, so obviously turning, stopping, backing, and they'll do that, well, there's, you know, it's not a problem, is it? It's, come on, baby, up you go. So, I'm sorry if I keep wandering a bit, but I've obviously got to concentrate on what I'm doing with me horse and you know obviously every all the time you're watching it you're you're learning you know by its body language how it's feeling about life is it happy and etc etc i want it to walk up here we could trot up here i want it to walk because it's a long long pull up here yeah i mean this this mare would trot up there no trouble at all you know it would be an effort but it's more effort to walk up there but there are there's going to be times in her life when she cannot trot up you know she's got to walk and there's going to be times when she's gonna have to um come on dolly stop on a hill and pull away and start so that's all part of the training so that's what we're doing although all this has been done these last few days they're with us we just go back over ground we've already covered and just make sure it's consolidated, the horse hasn't forgot or needs a reminder. And 99% of the time they don't, you know, once they've got it, they've got it. Well, let's say, let's say 95, let's say 80% of the time, 20% um, of the time, you might have to just tweak something a little bit just to remind them, you know. Like one we had the other day, it, we taught it to hold the weight on a hill. So you're, you're, you're in a queue of traffic or, or whatever it might be, or you're on a hill and you're at a junction and you, you don't have brakes on your vehicle. Well, that horse has got to learn to stand there and take the whole weight of the vehicle behind it on its shoulders and keep still and then walk away when the time's right. Well, obviously, come on, my baby, you good baby girl you are. Yes, you are, you young rascal. A proper little sugar plum this is got a character she is oh my god we've had our arguments we've crossed swords we <laughs> had to have a few discussions about who's in charge and that type of thing but in general lovely beautiful mare i mean lovely looking mare walk up my darling go on that's it there you go baby up you go Come over there, then. That's it. There's the draft sport. So, yeah, Hannah, her name is this one. She's purebred Irish draft sport sauce. And that's her full title. Come on, my darling. Up you go. There's a good girl. Walk up. I'm just going to put her this side of this manhole. So I'm, I'm pleased with this bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased with this bit. I'm quite surprised actually. They 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 done a they give the the bit to a dog to the a, a dog to chew, and the dog made no impression on it at all. Um, and obviously, when you get a rubber bit, I'd say this to anybody: just have a look and see if they've got any wolf teeth, because. Often, the wolf teeth are uh, left over from prehistoric times, really. Like the ergots and the chestnuts on their legs, with claws and toes at one time. Come on, darling, why don't you come? Um, the same thing with the, with the wolf teeth. So you can get them in their tiny little things. But funny enough, this, this horse had two wolf teeth, and they were massive. I mean, seriously big. I don't think I've seen any any bigger than the ones I've, I've, I've seen. I've seen you know, a few that size, but it's very unusual. They were big teeth, you know. 
Um, go on. Drop by badge, my darling girl. Go on, let me go. So I can bring her right over here to this big old tip of the park cup, you know. There's no rain on her at all. And she'll drop, you know, trot straight past, no problem. Come over, darling. That's it. It is quite funny when you're out here. I don't know whether you heard that. But um, you get people with their radios on, or you know whatever they've got to make music with. Come around, darling. That's a good party. Go on, there you go. And as you go past, you get all different sorts of music. And uh, sometimes it makes the horses jump, you know. If they're coming past a bit fast and they, it's loud pop music, you know, they, they sometimes, you know, it startles them, they wonder where it comes from. Oh, my baby, there's a good girl. So, yeah, there you go. So, you just turn this bit round here, you'll see. Come round, darling. Well, baby, stand, 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 stand. Just bring your head round, that's it. You can see there the orange bit in its mouth. So yeah, very pleased. Long way to go yet. A lot more bits to look at and try. But, uh, and then we can go back to them and say, I think this could be improved or no, that's nice. And, you know, and would we use them basically? Uh, that's what they're asking. You know, because we're known all over the world for what, uh, you know, we've got 22 million hits now on YouTube. If the fact we use rubber bits. So, it's time for her to have a drink and us to have a cup of coffee. There's a smile on my face every time I hear that sound. The rhythm of the hoops as they touch the ground. And there's no better place I'd rather be than with my safe. Confident horse, and there's no better place I'd rather be than with my safe, confident.